I've been trying to shoot this video for a few days now, but life keeps getting in the way. I had this idea a couple of weeks ago where I thought it would be fun to offer you some absolutely free charge music crates that you can use at your discretion. And maybe every video that I put out is going to cover a different genre or style or whatever. Absolutely free charge. I'm not here to profit off of DJs. I'm here to help you. And the only thing I ask in return is that you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, leave a nice comment, maybe let me know what types of genres or what type of crit you'd like me to see uh, cover in a future video. And if this video does well, yeah, we'll do more. Feel free to share this video as well with someone who you think you might be able to help. This first crate is what I can only describe as instrumental buffer tracks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is stuff that you can use kind of in between things. Let's say that you're a wedding DJ and there's this little gap between dinner and dancing. Well, you don't really want to play dance music because you haven't opened the dance floor yet, but you don't want to put people asleep with more Frank Sinatra. So you play something with a little more energy this is the stuff that I play. You can also use it if you're doing something like, I don't know, the shoe game perhaps? The background music for the shoe game can be anything you want, but these are instrumentals that you could use for that. I also use them as kind of almost an opening non-dance set when I'm doing a club. I'll use them occasionally for a cocktail. There's all kinds of uses for these tracks. And what's interesting about these songs is that I don't see any of these songs on anyone else's list anywhere. And I've Googled it, trying to find, you know, instrumental jams or whatever, and none of the stuff turns up. So these are kind of my choice picks on this list. Give them a listen. I mean, you can go on YouTube and search any of these and find them. See what you think of them. And if you like them, yeah, pick them up and put them in a crate. Some of these might be harder to find than others because some of them are a little more rare. So how did I discover these songs? They've just heard them over time and thought, wow, I really like that song. Personally, I think it's a cool tune. And then I think, how can I use this at work? And it turns out, as an instrumental buffer track, they work really well. I find a lot of songs like that, where I like them, and then I try to find a spot for them and use them. All right, let's get started. The first track is by Daft Punk. And there's a lot of songs by Daft Punk that you could use for something like an instrumental buffer track. The one I really like, though, is off of the Discovery album, and it's called Voyager. The whole Discovery album is really good. Homework's really good. Human After All's pretty good. Random Access Memories is pretty good, but there's something about this track that's cool. And when I throw a track like this on, kind of in between things or during chill sets or whatever, people tap their feet and bob their head. They have no idea what it is, but they dig it. So check it out. Daft Punk, Voyager. Our next song is by Van McCoy, the same guy who did The Hustle. And I always kind of in my mind thought he was a one-hit wonder, but the guy did a lot of stuff. And recently, I discovered this track by Van McCoy called Party. They do say party in it repetitively. repetitively. And at the intro, there's someone repeating, get down and party. But other than that, it's, it's an instrumental track and people respond really well to it. This is one of my more recent discoveries that I've added to the list. And I'm talking about the last several months. And anytime I've played it, I watch my audience and they're digging it. They don't know what it is, but they're digging the vibe. Next up, from the early 70s, Billy Preston. He was kind of the fifth Beatle. He was all over that Get Back documentary. And he has a song from the early 70s called Outta Space. It's cool. It's funky. Give it a listen. If you don't know Billy Preston's Out of Space, check it out and add it to your crate if you dig it. Much like the Billy Preston song, a few years later, the Commodores came out with a song. It's a lot shorter. It's called Machine Gun. It's the same general vibe as Out of Space. You can play them back to back or interchange them or whatever you want to do. Also a really cool tune. All instrumental very funky. It turned up in the movie Boogie Nights during one of the montage scenes. I'm gonna go house. Some cool chill house on this next one. This is 
Frankie Knuckles with the whistle song. Yeah, technically it's a house track and it got a lot of club play, but it's a cool, chill dance track. Now, I don't know that I'd expect a lot of people to dance to it. They don't know it, but they like it. It's got a nice vibe to it. Do check it out. And almost in the same vein. It's older though. This song came out, I believe, I think it was 83 or 84, maybe 84. It's by a jazz artist named Paul Hardcastle. He's the same guy who did that song 19, if you remember that. In Vietnam, he was 19. No, 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 19. A few years before that, he did a track called Rainforest. That's really cool. When you're looking for this track, look for Rainforest, the original. Because there have been different mixes of it and renditions of it. But the original version of Rainforest, it's kind of like a jazz electro house track. But it's really nice. The smooth jazz format has embrace this song and if you have smooth jazz radio in your market you may have heard it if you listen to that station but it's a really cool song paul hardcastle rainforest paul hardcastle has a lot of cool songs that you can use as like an instrumental buffer track or maybe during dinner or cocktail it's jazzy but it's electronic and most of it's pretty upbeat i use a lot of his music but this is my favorite Next up is the band name, I believe you pronounce it, Jacketa. Some people thought it was Jakarta, but it's not. It's Jacketa. And the song is called American Dream. And this is the dance version of the song. There was a chill version of the song that was featured in the Kevin Spacey movie, American Beauty. That's not the version I'm talking about. I'm talking about kind of the dance house version of the song, kind of the trance version of it. Uh, Jakarta American Dream, great tune. Next one is a song I've been playing in almost every event that I've done since I've owned it. And I think I've owned it since maybe the early to mid 90s. And that is JD with Plastic Dreams, the original version, which is over 10 minutes long. It's a trance track. And it's probably one of the biggest club tracks of all time. I think it's Dutch and I think it came out in 91 or 92, but it's a club classic, yet it works as a buffer track really well. Sometimes I'll play this song right before I kick an evening off. Almost like a hype track while I'm testing the lights. You know, the lights go down, I put this track on, I check the lights, I check the sound, nothing's happening yet, I haven't made an announcement yet, hello and welcome everyone. I like to use that track as, as kind of my my prelude to let's get the party started. And yeah, I've been using it since the 90s at almost every event, almost every event, doesn't matter what it is. Next one is from Giorgio Moroder, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy who kind of got Donna Summer her start. He did all that Donna Summer stuff in the 70s. I feel love, love to love you, baby. All that stuff is Georgia Marauder. He also produced a lot of stuff in the 80s. He was responsible for the Top Gun soundtrack. He, he produced that with Berlin's Take My Breath Away and Electric Dreams he did. He did a project with Kylie Minogue recently. He's worked with Daft Punk. He's also a DJ now. And the guy, I think, is 82 years old. He's really cool, though. Giorgio Moroder. The song from Giorgio that I use is called Chase. Cool track. And it, it, it's electro, electronic disco, I guess. From probably 77 or 78. But it's cool. And I know that the version I use is probably six minutes long. But there are shorter versions. And there are much longer versions. I think there's a 13 minute version of the song if you're looking for it. But I really do dig the track. It's it's kind of kind of trancy, but cool. And the last one I want to talk about on this list of kind of some unique tracks that I don't really hear anybody else playing or talking about is another electronic disco track. And this one might be a little difficult to find, but take take the time and find it or at least look at it on YouTube because it's really good 
and I know a lot of these tracks before I give you this last track they're going to stand out as I've never heard this before for most of your audiences sometimes DJs get in this rut where they play they all play the same thing right nobody's playing these so I've given you my diamonds here and now if anybody starts using these tracks there are going to be people out there who are using these tracks besides myself which hey I think it's pretty cool use them because uh, I mean get a little tired of the Peter Gunn theme in yellows oh yeah anyway this track is by a band called Quebec Electric, and it's called War Dance. This is a cool song. It's a very cool song. I love stuff like this. There are other disco tracks that are kind of like Georgia Motors Chase and Quebec Electric's War Dance that I like as well, but these I feel like work really well, you know, for instrumental buffer. They're unique, but they're not too out there. Most people don't know them, but they like them. There you have it. Take these songs and use them at your discretion. Have a listen. YouTube them. See if you like them. If you don't like them, don't use them. If you like them, go for it. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section. If you want me to cover a genre or a style, let me know in the comment section. If need be, I'll bring on a guest DJ who knows more than I do about stuff to give you the list because I know people who specialize but I don't do too bad on my own so anyway thanks for watching that's it I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for your likes your comments your subscriptions sharing this video anywhere if you're a member of a group and you want me to start including you like on Facebook as a group that I just automatically share to let me know in the comment section I would be very happy to do that it's all about helping that's why I'm here, and I want to help as many people as I can. Uh, so you can help me do that. I appreciate you so much. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.